As you walk through the valley, don't set camp up in the valley. Some of us have problems, and all we want to do is talk about our problems and how bad we got. You're supposed to walk through. It doesn't say sit in the valley. It says to walk through. You go through with Christ the shepherd, and he leads you through it. You don't just sit there and keep talking about it. You need to quit telling people how big your problems are and start telling them how big your God is. Now he's going to solve your problems. Because if you're just out there complaining, 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 you're just like everybody else out there, man. That's not a good one. You know, the world does not need a new definition of what a Christian is. The world needs a new demonstration of what it is to be a Christian. How it is to really live your life. That you don't just sit back and complain and act defeated. You are more than victorious. You are the conqueror in Jesus' name. And you need to share that with people. So when you have a tough time, I'm not saying you weren't supposed to talk about your problems. Obviously you are. That's what this is about. You have people that you can talk to. You share stuff with. You share it. You listen. And then you go. Don't put camp in the valley. You ain't supposed to camp in the valley. Walk through the valley. Keep pushing forward. Yeah, somebody in here has just been wallowing in their stuff. And I'm sorry you're going through it. But you know what? God's got a purpose for it in your life. Message in the best, baby. If you look to him, he will show you what that is. But you just sit there keep crying and complaining. That's not going to help you figure it out. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. I know that may be a harsh word, but it's the truth. Sometimes you got to hear the truth instead of just sitting up here playing spiritual patty cake to make you feel better about your situation. you got to grow, bro. Amen. And the reason I say that is because I love you. Sometimes people in my life, my parents gave me some tough. If I, they kicked me out of the house. Because I'm just sitting there smoking dope. I'm not, I'm not doing nothing. They just let me do it. Sometimes someone's got to give you a harsh word to push you forward. Be like, hey, you got to change it up a little bit. Some of us come to church, you show up late, you leave early, and you come every week, and you don't really pray. You're just, you just scroll your phone half the time, and then you wonder how come I go to church every week, how come I ain't having no breakthrough? Because you ain't really, what are you, are you fully invested, or are you just showing up to check a box? So you can tell them, oh, man, I was at church on Sunday, yeah, yeah, yeah. All you're going to have is a checklist. Religion. God don't want you to check boxes. He wants you to have growth. He wants you to walk in a calling, have a destiny. Yeah. What's your heart? You ain't average. You make an average decision, so you get average results. If you listen to the shepherd, he'll give you a great word, a great calling, a great vision, and then you're going to get different results. You ain't average no more then. Because you ain't relying on yourself. You're listening to Christ. You're listening to the Spirit. And there ain't nothing average about that. Supernatural up in that. 